Hello everyone, and how's it going? My name is Jim, and I introduce you to... Hearthstone. So yeah, um, Hearthstone I've actually wanted to play for quite a while, and um, didn't get the chance to. But luckily, one of my friends actually had a beta key, so he said to me that I could borrow his account and actually play a little bit for you guys, so... Let's start with it, shall we? I've actually played a few games, uh, got a bit used to it, um, actually built my own Druid sort of deck. It's not perfect, um, because I don't really have everything that I need, but um, it will have to do for now. I'll just do a few ranked games, and after that I'll probably like um, see if I can do something like Arena, because I have 250 gold on this account, and I'm allowed to do whatever I like, as far as I know. The only thing he asked me is not to remove his, like, mage build, so I shall not touch that. Um, ooh, quite a nice play here. Um, yes. Yes, we'll keep this. I like this. So, what I can do now is put a turn 4 minion on the field, actually before anything has happened, so... For example, right now, we're gonna do two mana coins, extra one, get a four minion out, bada boom, bada boom, and there we go. That's the way this one works. So now I got a nice little bit of a head start. Um, I do have a card disadvantage, but that will actually get in my benefit soon. Well, actually, it will not get in my benefit, but it's just, yeah. Healing Totem is not really going to be a problem. Going to be Mark of the Wild on that one. And there we go. Now it's a 5-7. Getting quite ridiculous. So now everything should work in my favor. So what I'm planning on doing is now I've got a Raid Leader, I've got a sh Shattered Sun Cleric. So, oh, two Raid Leaders, oh, very nice. Um, well, I'll just summon, wait, no, I, I won't. I'm gonna actually give him Taunt again, and plus buffs. Because I'm a silly bastard like that, and now we're just gonna rush him down. I know rushing down is generally not a good tactic, but in this situation, I'm gonna rush him. Because I've got a 7-9 on the field, he has a 1-1. Uh, he does have a big hand of cards, he actually has 7 over me. I only have three, but I do have the cards and means to destroy him, so I'm actually quite lucky to have it like this. Alright, so I'm hoping to get a Savage Roar now, because if I get a Savage Roar he's pretty much boned. Okay, um, oh he's building up taunts just to delay me, very very clever. Um, no biggie though. Um, let's see, we're gonna go for Sad Shattered Sun Cleric. Now we're just gonna waltz down this taunt, boom, and we're gonna get a footman on the field. Because next turn I could really remove his taunt, and then I could just charge in with my big taunt creature here. It's a bit overpowered, to be fair. Uh, next turn I can actually also summon a raid leader if necessary. So I could do a play of a Raid Leader combined with my um, Shapeshift to take down his Taunt and then actually get a buff on my big guy here. Do 9 damage right in his face combined with the 3 damage from the Shattered Suns Cleric and then we should have a nice damage done. Nice amounts of damage done. Ooh. However, I do want to remove that as soon as possible from the field and Oof, this is not good. Well, what a surprise! Hmm, gain an extra minion. Yeah, let's see. I'll write, um, just quickly. I need to quickly do this and this. And let's see, we're gonna take down his healing totem. And then we're gonna take down. Let's see. We're gonna take down this one, because. Yeah, why not? We're gonna take that down, and I'm just gonna attack with this. He can only do one damage now. 
I've eliminated most of his damage on the field now, so that's pretty good. Just waiting for him to make his move, because if he does not have anything to protect him next turn, he's pretty much boned. Nope, that's not gonna happen, mate. There's a taunt in the way. Not gonna happen. Alright. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice, nice, nice. Alright, um, so he's dead anyway, but let's just push it in his face. Right. There we go. There we go. There we go. And he concedes. Well, that's the way of doing things, I suppose. So that's the way I like to play with the druid. <laughs> it's pretty powerful, and it couldn't go better than that. So I quite like that. So um, yeah, that's pretty nice. So I think I'll just quickly do one more game with the druid. I gotta say, I was quite lucky to get all them pulls. It was like giving me all the golden cards, like I could, like the cards I really needed. Um, however, like it's just a bit of luck, I suppose. Luck of the draw. Like I've had some games where I've had really bad draw, and then you're really getting screwed over. So, for example, this start off card hand is not good at all. I need to go first, so I need a one card. So, um. I would like to keep it, but I'm not going to keep it for now because it will be like a turn 3 or 4 play and this is not even bloody better. So yeah, we're going to have to hope for the best on the next pull. But as you can see, like yeah, for example, I cannot do anything right now. So we're going to have to wait, sit around, hoping that everything will turn out for the best. Playing against a rogue as well, so um, yeah. I agree. Uh, nice, I got a claw, but it's not gonna help me out too much. So we're just gonna charge one damage on him. It's best I can do, and also build up a little bit of armor, so now I have 31 health instead of 30. Just will work out in my favor in the end. So here comes the coin. It's gonna be a. Oh, an acolyte of pain. Want to remove that? Oh, nice. That's something I like. Um, I am gonna... Let's see... Mm, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna s save that one up. I want to remove this. I don't want him to start stabbing it, but... I think I cannot, like... I gotta be careful with it. Just gotta wait, be patient a little bit here. Ooh, next turn I could actually possibly do Stampeding Kodo and get rid of it, so... Then he won't get too many cards out of it, except from... Well, actually, is it damaged? Yeah. And I don't think I do damage with it then, so... This might actually turn in my favor. He will maybe... He maybe doesn't get any card drawn from his Acolyte of Pain, which would be in my favor right now. So we're gonna go with a Stampeding Kodo play. Did he get any cards? No, he did not. Great. Ending turn there. So now I have board control. Uh, he has a bigger hand than me. He has two more cards. But that should not be a problem. I'm just going to see what he's going to play. Because right now, as it stands, I probably will go for a Raging Worgen play. And then probably... Oh. Backstab. Two damage. Uh, he's going to rush it down. That's... He used two cards to remove it, so that's an e efficient trade for my part. Um, six. I will actually... Let's build up a taunt wall first. Let's get a Lord of the Arena out. He might actually... Um, he might actually do something which I don't like, and that is probably... He could... Could he destroy it? Now, if, if he has that card to instantly destroy it... I don't know what it's called, I think. Ambush or something? Or at least there is rogue cards that can destroy a mob instantaneously, and I don't hope he will do that. Like, if he does that to my Lord of the Arena, that will be shameful. Uh, charge, give your opponent a mana crystal. Wait. So he's giving me a mana crystal? Um. 
Alright, it's fine with me. Um, ooh, nice. I could probably do some real r silly play here now. So, let's do that. Um, chill with Je when Jetty. Raging Worgen. Doing this. Mark of the world. And I'll save my claw. To remove anything on the field if necessary. But right now we have a 6 7 Chillwind Yeti and a Raging Worgen. And next turn I'm probably gonna give that Raging Worgen Wind Fury with um, actually like attacking it myself. I will take some damage in the process, but he'll take more. Oof, no. That's not good. Well, that's something that I did not anticipate. But, he made my Raging Worgen enraged, so I'm kind of thankful for that. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is going to be doing that. I'll get Claw up. I'll attack his thing. I'll attack that. And now attack him in the face. And I'll summon my Chillwind Jetty again. And that way, we got this. We got board control. We do have a disadvantage on the cards. But right now, my board is steady. So that's the main thing. So. The only thing I could possibly think of is that he could probably, if he has a fan of knives, get rid of my Raging Worgen by knifing up and fan of knifing. Or get card draw of it as well. Oh! Or he could do that and probably remove my Raging Worgen. Yeah, he realized. He made a little bit of a mistake. Um, his enrage is to give your weapon. Oh! And there we go, that's the give up. So, that's about how I play the druid deck. <laughs> I don't know how much time I actually synced into this, so... Um, if it's not too much, then I'll probably do one more game to just demonstrate, but... Uh, yeah, well, why not? Let's just do it one more game and probably wrap it up. But yeah, I just, I really like Hearthstone, it's pretty good. Right now, it seems this druid deck seems to be very, very stable. However, it doesn't contain like most of the cards that I really want, but it seems to be doing the trick. All right, so a warlock. We start off with first, and we got a chill and jetty and a swipe and a raid leader. I want to get rid of the chill and jetty and the swipe. I will keep the raid leader because he's a nice addition to turn turn three buffing. And we got a... well, I don't like this card, like, at first. So right now, the only thing I could do is claw, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to end my turn. I don't want to be wasting that card just yet. Voidwalker. So this might be actually a time where I want to be doing things, like removing it with a claw. But I cannot actually. So I'm just gonna armor up, whack it a little bit, get it down to a 2 1. Can't do anything else, so just right now, this is the best play I can do. Probably could claw it next turn and get rid of it. But I'm gonna have to wait. My greeting. Okay, he's life tapping. He actually has a big hand. Of course, he has his coin still, so keeping that in mind. He hasn't played it yet. Hmm. What you planning? What you planning? Alright, so let's see. We got a spell breaker. Um, that's not going to be of use. I'm not going to summon the. Sh <laughs> Jeez. Shattered Sun Cleric. Need to learn how to speak sometimes. Alright. So I'm just gonna go for him. Get rid of him. Armoring up. Oh. Well, at least I got two armor out of it. I could not attack again. I did forget that it just counts only once. So, it doesn't matter. 
Next turn I'll probably be playing something like the Raid Leader, depending on what the drawing card is. Right now I have a health advantage, and he loses the coin! <laughs> well that's a bit of a pitiful thing to happen, but I think I'm gonna swipe him to be fair. Hmm, does that trade well? Yes, it does. So, we're not going to be using a swipe yet, because swipe is removal, so I'm just going to keep it. And I'm just going to sit on tight with my Sanjin Shieldmaster. Because he's going to be, if he attacks me, which I'm more than happy to have him doing, because my attack is 3, so removes his card and leaves my card on the field with 1 HP left. So, the only thing he could do is remove my Sending Shield Master by either using a spell or something, or some direct removal. And he chooses to corrupt it, which is a bit shameful, but I think I have one more turn with it, so hopefully I can remove that succ succubus with it. Jeez. Alright, he puts a taunt on the field, and I think... Hmm... Could I... maybe... That might actually work. I'm not sure if it will, but I could try it to be fair. Hmm. I'm a bit curious because I'm thinking of actually removing um, the debuff. But, however, I think the more valid play in this situation is actually to put a silence on that one and get rid of his, like, thing, and then end my turn. At least I made use of my Sanjin Shieldmaster and he doesn't have a taunt on the field anymore. Also, I don't really, um, I don't really like the Frostwolf grunts. Um, I've been watching a lot of the actual videos from Total Biscuit and I agree with him on the fact that it's a low, like, cost card, but it's a low, also easy removal. It really gets, it removes from the field almost instantaneously. Okay, he's putting up a little bit of a Morgan Infiltrator right now, that's not a problem. Put some more cards on the field, please. Okay, he's removing it with Shadow Balls, that's not really nice, but... I don't like that, but it's not the big, eh? Okay. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna just clear the board here. There we go. Shape shift, and charge right for him. At least that's gets rid, uh, getting rid of the potential damage that he could do. I know it's not a lot that he had on the field, and I probably could have taken the damage, but right now I just didn't want to sit here and let him do it. So, I just chose to remove. Okay, Lord of the Arena comes out. I think my next play will be a Boulder Fist Ogre. Or... Will it? Yes, it will. Right. Boulder Fist Ogre. It's stronger than, than that guy. So, next play, I'll probably use a Mark on the Wild of it. Um... Mark of the Wild on it, I mean, seriously. I need to learn to speak sometimes. But I suppose I'm Dutch. So, don't go too harsh on me. English is not my primary language. So I still think I'm doing pretty alright. Ah, you bitch. He's gonna trade it, isn't he? Ooh, he isn't. That was a mistake, good sir. That was a mistake. So, what I'm planning on doing now is... Yes. Yes! We'll do this shizzle. So, right now, I'm gonna be doing this. Giving him the bonus. Then, I'm gonna be using my Raid Leader to buff him. And then I'm gonna use my Iron Beak Owl to silence that bitch. Now I'm gonna just ch charge straight for his HP. If he wants to ram his Lord of the Arena into my freaking Boulder Fist Ogre, then he's more than welcome to. Because it will leave my card on the field. 
However, I do not know what kind of removal he has, but I'm just hoping for now that he does not have any forms of removal. And I think I would have already seen it, most likely. But he's ramming his Law of the Arena into my Boulderfist Ogre, leaving him behind with one health. Probably Mortal Coil, yeah, Mortal Coil. Shameful, but expected. So, next play, probably Raging Warg and Frostwolf Warlord. Alright, he's removing quite a bit of my minions on the field. He has a card advantage over me, so I'm gonna have to pay attention now. But right now, I think I'm doing alright. I'm not in a real bad situation, at least. Elven Archer, not really useful right now, but... Wait, 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 wait. I can... Actually, it is useful for a change. Because it's an extra minion on the field, which means 7-7. Seven, seven. And he has another minion to deal with. So, I think right now I have a steady board control, but an AoE could wipe out quite a bit of my board. So I'm hoping he does not have any forms of AoE removal right now. But of course he bloody does. So that leaves me with one minion on the field. Should have thought that through. But I didn't. Because I derped out. But he is rather low on HP. And then he does that. Great. Well, he could possibly summon another minion with two mana, but he is not able to. But look, so I'm gonna have to do this. It's the only thing I can kinda do. I'll put up this, and I'll just charge for him. So now I have a 5-5 taunt on the field, keeping me alive. If he does not have any forms of removal for it, then I probably will start just chunking at his HP, but right now I do not know what he's going to be summoning, because he has 10 mana, so he could probably summon something scary. And I don't want anything big and scary. Okay, Booty Bay Bodyguard. And that's a bit of a troublesome thing, because right now I cannot find any way around it. Raid Leader comes out. That's a bit of a bitch as well, because now he's a 6 4 instead of a 5 4. However, still, my. Oh, nice. Well, that's probably gonna help me, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this gonna do that and just chunk out his HP because if he feels like ramming into my Sension Shieldmaster he's more than welcome to once again. I don't really mind. I'm just gonna sit here tight and I'm top decking for the rest of the fight. Uh, right now he has 11 cards, I have 16 cards so I have what I have a little bit more cards to wait for, but he pulls out a 10 damage core hound, which I'm not too pleased about. That's actually pretty bad for me. I don't like that. What's he gonna do with my shield master? Four damage. Ah, the bastard! He got rid of it. So now he has 12 potential damage next turn, and I do not have any forms of removal, so I'm pretty much done goofed here. And that is not going to help me. It is really not going to help me. Um, yeah. Oh, what? Nice. I did not know I could do that, but... Oh, Lord of the Arena, you magnificent bastard. You're not gonna save me, but... You're gonna keep them off me for a little while longer. Very nice. This is actually a perfect thing to happen. I did not know that was actually possible. So right now, that mana crystal saved my butt. <laughs> because it could, it allows me to get another, like, card. I think I was actually pretty much done, because I did not know how to get around it. But right now he's thinking the same thing, because he cannot remove it. 
like instantly. His Void Walker will not, his Raid Leader will not, and his Core Hound will not. Like, it will remove it, but it will only result into dying a lot. Okay, so it seems he's gonna be trading minions. He re removed this Raid Leader, which I think is not a good idea from him, but. Oh. Well, next turn I'm dead if I don't pull out something that is going to save me and I did not pull anything out that could save me. So, I think this is a GG, so, like, I'll just say well played because I can't win this. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, rating would be very much appreciated. Also, thanks to Rafik for actually letting me uh, borrow his account to actually put some videos out and expect a arena run pretty soon as well on my channel because I am planning on it because I have 260 gold. So yeah, see you next time. Bye bye!